how to fulfill orders into DSIRS. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can do this. If you don't know, DSIRS is a great place of a dropshipping supplier from AliExpress, and we can do this totally for free. So if you want to do something like this, these are three products that have an order fulfillment linked into my store. So let's get started. I'm going to be showing you how we can do the linked from all these products into Shopify from DSIRS. All right, so the very first thing that you want to do, now that you have your account already being created, I can strongly suggest to you to have your free trial of your Shopify, but you want to have, of course, an active plan of Shopify if you want to start earning money and receive the money, of course, into your store. And of course, people can access without having a passcode protected. So as you can see, we do have a plan of three months of Shopify for, for only one freaking month. So I, I assume that three months is more than enough to stop making dropshipping and just paying one freaking dollar. But that's really up to you. So let's focus into the installation of our dropshipping supplier. If I go and look out for the left part, here says applications. I want to look out for apps and sale channel settings or go into recommended apps, whatever you want it to. So here, what I want to do is to scroll all my way down and look out for Shopify app store, or you can choose to enter the shopify.appstore.com. And once you are in here, I'm gonna click into the upper side and look out for the right keywords of my applications. We can go for drop shipping here to enter mark and it should be appearing a lot but really really a lot of applications that we can choose to make some drop shipping here i want to look out for these now just in case you don't have these available into your country you don't have to worry about that because there's actually a lot of drop shipping suppliers that you can choose to really for free so in my case i want to now continue with these so once i click that i'm going to click into the option that says install application so you need to grant the access to your shopify into your desserts so once you have created an account in desserts to really for free it's going to be asking how you want to get started so now that you are inside desserts uh, your actual Shopify store should be appearing in here which says Shopify. So I don't have to worry about that. If you don't see that, you can go into linked to more stores. And here what I want to do is to look out for the Shopify. In my case, this one is going to be sending me into the apps of Shopify since we already have enabled the actual update. So I'm going to click into the X mark and here I'm going to go back. And here, of course, is my product already being added my store. So if I go now into the supplier optimizer, now this supplier optimizer is going to be helping me to track the product that I want to sell of AliExpress. But let's say this one is going to be helping us to find the product in a very easy or let's say in a very cheap price. So I'm going to go in here into the new tab and I'm going to locate AliExpress website. And here I want to click here and now that I'm inside AliExpress, I want to look out for the products that I want to sell. Let's say for example, this guy. So if I click into this product, as you can see into the upper side, here it is the custom URL. So if I copy this URL, I go back into the supplier optimizer and paste that in here. I'm going to hit into search and I just want to make sure that the product is going to be added automatically into Deezus. So for example, we do have here this digital caliper carbon fiber. So I want to make sure, for example, this one is going to be sent into 15 MXN. So if I go into the upper side and I click here, it says price. As you can see, this one is going to be sent into a very, very cheaper sale. So I'm going to click here into this product and it's going to be sending me now into the AliExpress product. As you can see, this is the actual product and this is the one that I just found it. So um, now what I want to do is to try to import this into my store. So I'm going to click here, add to import list. So I'm going to go into the, go to the import list checked. And this one should be, should be sending me into the import list. So I want to click this one and I want to edit this one before I can send it into my Shopify. So I want to edit the title. I want to delete all of this because this is truly useless. The organization should be the one of our Shopify. The collections, you want to add homepage and the type and the tax is totally up to you. Now in my case, I can strongly suggest you to leave the variants, the description, all of that um, like this. And the code should be appearing here. So you want to just leave everything as it is. 
and hit into save. Once you have successfully done that, you want to now click in here and go for push to Shopify. So I want to enable this one. Two of them want to disable this one. So I'm going to go into post details and push to Shopify. Now, as you can see, it says uh, successfully posted import reviews. So I'm going to click now into my products just to make sure that my product is going to be added automatically into Shopify. So as you can see, this is the product that's going to be added. This is the actual price. So you want to go into the upper side, look out for products. And here into products, as you can see, here is the one that we has just added from Desus. So if you want to change the price, if you think this is actually really low, go and uh, scroll a little bit down. And here where it says price, I want to change that. For example, let's say uh, 19 or 89. So you want to choose the new price. And there we go. Get to hit into saved. And then we're actually good to go. Now, what's going to be happening with the order fulfillment? If I go back into my products, if someone buys one of those products, it should be appearing my order in here. So um, automatically, Desus have to make the import of all the information into my actual products inside Desus. But if you don't find that, what I can strongly just do is to create or download out the Desus extension so the product uh, will go to the import list into Desus automatically. So it should be appearing into the import list, which is this one. So go back into the open orders and inside here, I'm going to go for synced LE orders, sync via DSERS Chrome extension. So here, what says order synchronization uh, completed. So as you can see, we have zero failed because we don't have any order into Shopify. But when you make an order into Shopify, you should go back choose the open orders and here what I want to do is to select synced uh, via Desus Chrome extension. So you want to make sure of course that you have the extension of Chrome added in here and you have added your locked in extension of Desus. Now it says discover Desus partners and much more. So as you can see all this information, um, all of that is going to be appearing in automatically into Desus as well as here. So once you have successfully done that, just focus into make the fulfillment or the order automatically. Since we do have a free version, we cannot do this automatically, but we can do this totally for free in a manual way inside Deezers. And that's how guys, we can do a fulfillment process into Deezers from Shopify into Deezers. With that being said, guys, we have now reached into the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. If you don't want to see more great tools of how you can import from one place into another one into Shopify. And of course, if Deezers is not available into your actual country, you don't have to worry about that because I just told you that there's actually a lot of dropshipping suppliers that you can choose totally for free. You just want to make sure they have a free plan available so you so you can't uh, spend uh, more than you have into your budget. So thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And with that being said, I'll see you next time.